guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about finding the gift for the double read player in your life. The first thing that I wanted to share with you guys comes already gift wrapped. It actually arrived at my house in this fancy little velvet blue pouch. So of course I loved that. Inside the velvet pouch, you'll find what I purchased was a pencil. Now it also comes in the ability to get it as a pen. Now this pencil I think is fantastic because it is made out of Arundo Donax, meaning cane, the same material that reeds are made out of. So I thought it was a very nice gift to give to one of your section mates or possibly even to um, someone that you are playing chamber music with that is also a double reed player. And I got it as a pencil so that when we do the music together, there is no excuse for them not to have a way to mark their music. So it's very classy, it looks elegant, and it comes gift wrapped. Now, if you're interested in this, there will be links in the description box down below as there will be for all of the things that I mentioned. The next bit that I wanted to share with you, I honestly have to admit that I purchased and I was going to put it in a disappointing products video because I thought there was no way that it could work. But then when I actually tested it out, it is fantastic. And it is a little bassoon fingering stamp. Now, I thought that there was no way that this could work because it is so small that I thought that when you would add ink to it, that it would just blur the fingerings, but it doesn't. So for me, I am saying that this is one of the most fantastic gifts for anybody you know that is learning new fingerings or alternate fingerings or even trill fingerings, and they can easily mark in the margin of the music, especially if it's a copy, because you know sometimes you don't want to um, mess with an original, but you have the ability to mark the fingering directly on the music. So for the bassoon teachers in my world, I am giving them this as well as a quick little um, ink box that I picked up at hobby stores. The next thing I have to share is something that is honestly helping me get through the gigmas season. Now, most people know the holidays as Christmas or Hanukkah, but for most of us here in the south of the United States, we call it gigmas, which is a term that I actually coined because I was playing so many gigs in a row that you're just always on the go through the whole holiday season. Now, because of that, oftentimes being on the road, I end up needing headphones so that I can study the scores in between driving from one gig to another, but also it has the ability to go ahead and answer the phone right on it. Now, this year I switched to a 7 Plus, so I do not have a headphone jack, but these being wireless are fantastic because they also allow me the ability to do yoga at a gig and listen to my music, and I don't have my phone that can drop out of my pocket or um, break, because that is is how I broke the screen on my last my last phone. So these I have found great. They have great sound quality. They only also need five minutes of charging to be able to go for one hour and they fit into the same jack as my car phone charger. So really I'm all set when I'm on the go. Now my favorite item that I have used in bassoon accessories within the last year, which I would recommend any bassoonist get if they don't already have one, is a bassoon stand. This is the reeds and stuff bassoon stand. I have to say it is my favorite because it is so compact, it is so lightweight, it is secure, and I have never worried about any of the parts falling off, and I do not have to put my bassoon in a corner, which I don't suggest in case, you know, you're worried it could fall over or get bumped. This is safe and secure, and it also allows me to use my Lefrec sound panels with it without bumping into them, like some of the stands that I have that have a longer arm on them. If you want to know more about bassoon stands, I do have a separate video that I will link to on that. The last thing I have to share with you guys is a survival method tool that if anybody gave me this, I would just give them a hug in the holidays. This is the Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Lavender Soothe and Sleep Bath Salts. Now, we all know that the holidays are a time where it's easy to indulge and oftentimes you get toxins in your body as part of that. Or if you're like me, playing too many gigs, again, the toxins in the body and my, my muscles just start to ache. So I take a nice bath with these, the Epsom salts, they help, they help pull all of the uh, toxins out of my body so there's less chance of me getting sick and also the lavender smell will help me get a good night's sleep. I hope you found this helpful and you found a gift for the musician that is on your holiday gift list. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you want to keep up on all of my gig misadventures, you can follow me on all of the social medias. Just look for Erin Oft and I will see you guys next time. Bye!